Good morning, this is the second day of the Amsterdam trip. I slept really good. The hotel bed is amazing. It was like sleeping in a cloud. So now it's time to have some breakfast. There is a market close to our hotel, the Albert Coop Market. And they should have some poffertjes, which is uh, Dutch pancakes and some strobwafel there. So that's my play, my kind of place. We are definitely heading there and have some breakfast, some sweet breakfast. got some cash because the pancake uh, stall takes only a cash. for today for some breakfast is the Dutch pancake. Coffee just looks delicious. He's just freshly making it for us. Nice slice of butter. <laughs> Sugar. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm super excited. The first thing of my day is the coffee just which is Dutch pancakes, it looks delicious. Look at this, the guy just made it freshly for us, it's, it's still nice and warm. I went for the traditional taste, which is just butter, nice slice of butter and some sugar. Let's go for it. Looks delicious. I took a little bit of butter. Okay. I see why this is so favorite with the Dutch people. Oh, it's so good. There is a lot of toppings you can choose with uh, these puffages, but I went for the traditional one because if the traditional one, the simple one, is done right, then you can be sure that it will be everything will be good. And this is definitely done right. This is so delicious that we definitely have to go and try one more. Okay, so I just finished the first stop of the day, the poffertjes, the Dutch pancakes. It was delicious. I'm so excited. I really enjoyed it. I tried the traditional one, which is the sugar and butter, and I think that was the best choice. Then I went for the Nutella, because there is a lot of different toppings. Uh, I choose the Nutella and strawberry, because it's kind of the strawberry season. Each topping is the 50p on top of the off top of the three euros you pay for the portion of the pancakes so I would definitely recommend the most uh, only the sugar and butter one or I would go for extra strawberries because they were absolutely delicious and seasonal all the nut Nutella variations uh, all and like sprinkles and glitter toppings it's for me it's always just for tourists and it looks good you know it looks very Instagrammable but the best taste is always the simple one It may look like I'm only eating sweets, but I'm actually eating the normal food as well. That's why I went for some herring. Damn, Daniel. Looks delicious. Let's try it. Yeah, okay, I know. This channel is mostly about reviewing desserts, but herring is a very traditional Dutch food and you just can't visit Amsterdam without trying it. Oh yeah, this is actually super delicious. Mm, it's so buttery. It's a little bit salty, but not too much. Okay. I'm surprised. I think I'm probably like most other people who 
thing heading and it will be just like uh, super fishy, you know, a little bit like uh, But it's surprisingly good. It's really good Flush it down with a pickle This is delicious There is also a famous traditional Strubafa stall in Albert Coop Market, which is worth stopping by. But unfortunately the guy running the stall was on holidays during my visit. There were some other Strubafa stalls in the market where you can try decent freshly made Strubafas, but nothing I would put in my highly recommended list. So I decided to try Strubafa somewhere else and you will be able to see it in the next video. Albert Coop Market is definitely worth visiting because you can try many great Dutch street foods in one place, which can be very convenient, especially during the short visit. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual, it's time to go to gym now.